Hey Vapors, this is Hannah with Bestie Sig Review and today we are reviewing the eMac. Who <laughs> says we can't play with our toys? Well, let's see what Joey thinks about this transformer. Hi, this is Joey with Bestie Sig Review and today we are looking at the eMac by Dove Pro. So here we have it up close. It is stainless steel. The dimensions are 129.2 by 60.2 by 25.7 millimeters. It does have 510 connection with the Ego threading, so you can put basically any tank you want on this device or RDA. Um, there is one button, which is the firing button, and then the button that uh, you use to select which menu option you want to use. There's also two touchpad, uh, a plus and a, or a minus and a plus right here. Use these to cycle through the menu or adjust your wattage and voltage. You can also click them at the same time to uh, lock the touchpad. And then um, this does accommodate dual 18650s. So this is a relatively sturdy device as most Dove Pro uh, APVs are. Um, it does scratch up and dent, or it doesn't really dent, but it scratches very easily. Um, it picks up a lot of fingerprints if you can't notice. Um, the buttons are, or the buttons held together great. Um, one thing that there is going wrong is I don't know if you can like hear that, but. The screen is kind of starting to pop up, especially right where the uh, touchpad is. So I don't know if that's going to cause any problems in the future, but it probably will. So this is a painted stainless steel. As you can see, you have it in black. It also comes in red or like a silver. Um, it is the fingerprint magnet, like I said earlier, so it will pick up a lot of the fingerprints. As you can see, it's starting to smear everywhere. Um, it also comes with a uh, Autobot symbol from Transformers on the front. Uh, if you have one of the older models, like what this one is, or the newer ones come with it, uh, like a separate sticker or a decal that you can place on there yourself. You don't have to, preferably I don't like it on there. Um, I think Hasbro is going to have a huge issue with that, which I think that's why they offer the sticker now instead of uh, placing it on there themselves. This does look good with any 22 or 23 millimeter device. Um, anything bigger than 22 though kind of sits over the lip here a little bit. I mean, it's not going to it's not going to sit very flush if it's bigger than 22. Um, and also just the, the way this device is set up, that if you have any tank or RDA on here, it already looks tall as it is. Um, but with a tank on there, it's, a, it's very awkwardly shaped when it has a tank on it. So it's nice that the screen is in OLED, so you can actually see everything. Uh, it tells you the wattage or the, or the voltage that it's on right now. It tells you the time and date, puff counter, uh, battery life and then as you can see there's a little lock symbol right there double click both of those it opens up and then you can adjust the wattage or the voltage accordingly click the button three times it takes you to a menu you can switch it from voltage to wattage you can adjust the, uh, the timer that you have so you can make it longer or shorter depending on what you want to use and then there's a little X there to exit out of the menu and then to power it down click the power symbol So this does have a standard 10 second shut off time, but as I said in the menu, you can go in and switch that to like 15 or even shorter than 10 seconds. There's a reverse battery protection inside of it. Um, there's a seven amp protector inside of the chip, so it helps you out if you're sub-ohming, but you're not really gonna need it because it only goes down to 0.5. And there are no vent holes on the battery, which is a big issue. I mean, not, not for most APVs, but still, it's always nice to have that little extra safety feature just to make sure your batteries are staying nice and cool. So as Dove Pro always does, they always add something unique to their stuff. Like in this, they added the touch pads and they still have the uh, output and the micro USB uh, pass-through charger. So that's always something nice that they do. Um, even like the shape of it and adding the transformer symbol, that's very unique and people will like that. 
So the pros for this device is that there, it has the dual 18650 in there, which is different between a lot of uh, other box mods out there. So it gives it a nice battery life, as well as uh, the menu is really easy to work through. It's easy to change the wattage and voltage, especially with the uh, touchpad. Touchpad is very responsive. It works well. And then also this device has all the other nice uh, Dog Pro features like the pass-through and the output charger as well. So the cons for this device, uh, in the beginning they have to deal with the uh, power settings. Uh, 30 watts isn't that high, especially compared to most APVs nowadays. Uh, also, the 6 volts and the, watt and the 30 watts don't heat up larger coils uh, that nicely. I mean, I have a, uh, a 1 ohm coil in here at 6 volts. If you can see, it's taking forever to even heat up. Um, so that's a big issue with me. Also, I don't like how there is the transformer symbol on there. Um, I know for a fact they don't they don't have uh, any written consent from Hasbro, and that's going to be an issue for Dov Pro. It's an issue for some people who don't really care for it, which is another reason why now they uh, give you a sticker to put it on there yourself, or you can choose what you want to do with that sticker. So overall, this device is a pretty solidly machined device. Uh, it has all the nice features that Dov Pro likes to put onto their devices, like the uh, output charger, the pass-through, um, even the cool little flashlight you got there, just in case you get yourself in a sticky situation. Um, the touchpad's really nice. I just don't like how the screen's starting to fall off a little bit. Um, the way it looks, it's not very, I mean, it, it's already really tall as it is, and then you add like a tank or an RDA on there, it, I don't know, the aesthetics of this device aren't that great. And then one of my big issues with this is the transformer symbol. Uh, once again, people like Hanna that are going out there and suing people for cloning their mods, I mean, you gotta assume a big company like Hasbro is gonna attack you for putting their trademark property on one of your devices like this. So overall, we gave this device a C+. Uh, I mean, the biggest gripes were the fact that the uh, uh, power setting on this isn't that great. I mean, it takes forever for even a 1 ohm coil at 6 volts to heat up. And also, the, uh, Hasbro, st or the, the Hasbro sticker on there, it's, I mean, if you want to lose some money and get sued, go ahead and do it. But I'd prefer to not see that on there. And that was the EMEC by Dove Pro. For the full written review, click the link in the description below or go to bestesigreview.com. I'm Joey with Best Esig Review, and remember, Decepticons are people too. Well, maybe not. We know you're a fan of getting free stuff, but are you a fan of beer? <laughs> well, if you're not, then you should be, because we give away everything we review. Click here to visit bestesigreview.com and then click on the contest tab to learn more. Have questions about this product? Then let us know in the comments section below and we'll hit you back. Do you like these reviews? You want to see more of yours truly? Then click here to subscribe. Remember to keep it social, share beer, and as always, watch responsibly.